Orlando is still closed this morning after a 10 year old girl was attacked by a nine foot alligator. David Williams has more on that and how the girl was able to get away. FWC says that girl was in shallow water here at Lake Mary Jane at Moss Park. Here at the beach, we are seeing signs like this that reads swim at your own risk. These are pictures of the predator that chomped down on a 10 year old girl while she was swimming in an Orange County Lake Saturday. In the report, someone on scene saved the child by prying the gator's mouth open to free her leg. It makes me feel scared. I already have like a phobia for gators, you know. Our cameras are there as an Orange County crew closes more of the beach, just steps away from where an alligator bit a 10 year old girl. FWC releasing the report that gives us a much clearer picture of the terrifying situation. The little girl was enjoying a beautiful afternoon exactly where she was supposed to be, sitting in the designated swim area in about two feet of water when the eight foot nine inch gator chomped down on her left knee. A lifeguard was on duty watching just feet away. We never think about, you know, gators coming up and bothering anyone and the report says the gator sliced her knee and left teeth marks on her thigh and the back of her knee Our prayers go out to her and her family and hopefully she recovers well and fwc says someone pried the gator's mouth open to free her leg four people in her group are near her on shore lifeguards treated her and took her to the hospital I already called my wife. I let her know because we have um, children. Dwight Cologne and his friend Brian Robinson know this beach well. They've come for years with metal detectors, always watching for gators. This is, again, their, their habitat, so they, I've seen them quite a bit over here. Now they're even more careful. We got to be careful. Gators, snakes, there's a lot of wildlife here. Orange County Parks and Rec says this beach will be closed for the next week until they can review everything with FWC. That girl, we're told, has non-life-threatening injuries. In Orange County, David Williams, Fox 35 News.